ओके हाई गाइज सो इन दिस लेक्चर विल डिस्कसिंग ऑन द मैकेजम ऑफ आइसोसाइनेट टेस्ट और कार्बिलमिन रिएक्शन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो आई होप यू रिमेंबर दैट इन कार्बिलमिन रिएक्शन और आइसोसाइनेट टेस्ट वी कन्वर्ट द वन डिग्री अमीन और वन डिग्री अमीन और प्राइमरी अमीन इन टू आइसोसाइनेट सो विल बी डिस्कसिंग द मैकेजम फॉर द सेम सो द रूट रिएक्शन वॉज एज डिस्कस इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर इट वॉज आर एन एस टू इन क्लोरोफॉम and acidic uh, basic medium presence we converted into r and c okay this was the root reaction now we are discussing the mechanism for the same so first of all in the first step ch ch cl3 will be attacked by in, in the attacked by the oh minus as it is in the basic medium to form a carbene which is dichlorocarbene so how does it happen is we have something like this okay this h would be attacked by oh minus resulting in h plus removal from this carbon compound and thereby c minus will be formed and at the same time cl minus will take its bond pair with itself and resulting it in, resulting into carbene formation okay in the second step what is going to happen is we have a primary amine this primary amine on seeing the carbene and the unfilled p orbital will actually donate its lone pair into the unfilled p orbitals and thereby creating a positive charge on itself and minus charge on the carbon atom with two cl on carbon atom and two hydrogen on nitrogen atom in the next step what will happen is oh minus on seeing the condition of positively charged nitro nitrogen atom and as a result the the hydrogen atom attached to the nitrogen or positively charged nitrogen atom would be highly acidic why because it is it is getting highly highly in need of electrons okay so it will try to pull all its electron density towards itself thereby making this hydrogen atom highly acidic hence oh minus will see this opportunity to attack on h and remove this h plus thereby restoring the neutral charge on nitrogen atom okay so nitrogen a nitrogen atom again has its uh, lone pairs intact with itself so again it will donate or form uh double bond with carbon atom and thereby cl minus will be getting it removed from the c atom so in the next step what will happen is here uh, we will have positive charge in nitrogen atom with one h attached double bond c obviously there is a negative charge here and cl is attached here again positive charge on electron negative element makes its more electron uh, deficient hence it will try to extract or attract all the electron density from hydrogen atom towards itself making hydrogen atom too much acidic hence oh minus will see this opportunity and attack on the h plus okay as a result we'll get something like this compound now what will happen is again the negative charge on the carbon atom uh, there is a negative charge on carbon atom and the neighboring cl cl atom would actually withdraw its bond pair from the bond with the carbon atom and will leave as cl minus thereby forming a and at the same time lone pair of nitrogen atom would form a bond pair with the carbon atom hence the formation of this compound takes place okay if you look at the orbital configuration of the carbon atom okay so you can see that it is 2s and this is 2p orbital what will happen in this case is obviously the four electrons in each orbit was of the carbon atom itself and the remaining electrons were filled Uh, the three electrons were filled because of the bond with nitrogen and two chlorine and nitrogen and two chlorine bonds were filled filled and in the in, in the negative charge or in the last p orbital or pz orbital you can say so pz orbital has one electron because of a negative charge acquired on the carbon atom hence the 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 configuration is filled and it is having complete octet in in, in the in the in the next case what will happen is uh okay so this is the configuration of ccl2 so i'm just trying to show here for what, what was what was the configuration of ccl2 and how is the configuration of carbon in this compound okay so in this compound what what will what will happen is we actually have three bond pair with the uh, on the carbon atom with the nitrogen and chlorine atoms so and one negative charge was acquired during the during the donation from the nitrogen atom to the car carbon atom okay so during that time the the car carbene was something like this and this this carbene is just attached 
here I mean the configuration I'm just replicating here with the carbon electrons here and these electrons are given by one more bond from the nitrogen atom okay so this bond actually shows that X and Y are in covalent bond and X is the giver and Y is the donator uh, X is the donator and Y is the receiver so you can also represent this as a bond with negative charge in nitrogen atom and uh, with positive charge in nitrogen atom and negative charge in carbon atom if you don't want to or you are not uh, or you are having trouble understanding this representation you can also uh, write this represent representation they are both equally correct okay so just 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 a summary that isocyanide is something like rnh2 on reaction with or primary amine or one degree amine on reaction with chloroform in uh, basic medium forms isocyanide okay next we'll be discussing on the characteristics of this reaction that two degree and three degree amines will give negative isocyanide test and three moles of koh would be consumed in this reaction so let's see one more uh, example of the same so we have etnh2 and chcl3 and the compound or the product would be et and uh, c so this is isocyanate okay so we have chcl3 and koh this is koh now what will happen is oh minus will again attack on the hydrogen atom making c minus cl3 as the intermediate and finally it will form carbon when cl also takes away the bond pair from the carbon atom so this is the structure which we get or the carbon which we get okay in the next step what will happen is the etnh2 will uh, attack on the carbon and with, thereby acquiring positive charge in the nitrogen atom and bond pair, bond between the nitrogen and carbon atom having a negative charge this is a negative charge okay next what will happen is by the way the first mole of oh minus was consumed here second mole of oh minus again what was would be attacking on the acidic hydrogen forming uh, again forming a water molecule out of this and in the second step the nitrogen would be getting neutralized again the lone pair of the nitrogen would be involved in forming a bond pair with the carbon atom and the cl minus would be getting removed as you can see here okay that the the n plus is get is getting neutralized okay and the lone pair are again forming a bond pair with the neighboring carbon atom and at the same time cl is also removing as i have shown in this step the same step is repeated or duplicated here okay so what will happen is again n would have a positive charge with h attached to itself double bonded with carbon atom negative charge on the carbon atom and cl here so this was the second mole of OH minus to be consumed. Now the third mole of OH minus is ready to be consumed by attacking itself to the hydrogen atom, which is attached to the nitrogen atom. What will again happen in this case is we'll get something like the H2 would be formed and we'll get lone pair intact on the nitrogen atom, ready to be donated to the carbon atom, and at the same time the cleavage of bond between the C atom and the Cl atom will take place and we'll get something like this as the isocyanate so if, if you look at the configuration of carbon in this case it was 2s2 uh, 2s and 2p the four electrons uh, marked in uh, blue color are the electrons which uh, which are already being present on the carbon atom okay and the yellow are the electrons from the bond pairs of the neighboring atoms attached on the carbon atom so two are of nitrogen and one one is for chlorine and the fourth one the the pink one is shown is the negative charge which is the electron acquired by the carbon atom okay in the course of the reaction so now this was the configuration here and now here the configuration is obviously the two electrons for the the two bonds of the nitrogen atom are intact one green electron is actually coming from one green electron is actually coming from the nitrogen atom itself okay because of the this negative charge it was already coming from the nitrogen atom because it was it was the nitrogen actually donated it to the carbon atom in some previous steps and both this green electron and the pink electron which is donated now because from this to this the lone pair actually got converted into bond pair hence the nitrogen atom also donated one electron to the carbon atom hence in total nitrogen atom donated two electrons to the carbon atom that is the reason we are showing a arrow 
that it has donated two electrons to the carbon atom okay so this green electron this green one what was previously the negative charge on the carbon atom hence we uh, in this case the yellow one was the negative charge on the carbon atom okay or i think yeah uh, okay so that was uh, i think i i told you that the yellow one was the bond electron so no problem so the yellow one was the chlorine electron and the pink one was the you can say the negative charge okay now what will happen is the pink one would still remain as is the pink one was actually donated to the carbon atom by the nitrogen atom in the previous steps right so this pink one was the negative charge acquired by the carbon atom and now cl minus would also be leaving hence this yellow electron would be getting this px let me let me write it as px py and pz okay so py what gets the one of one of the orbit one of the electron in py was getting emptied by the leaving cl minus group okay so one of the bond pair is breaking here okay hence at the same time the lone pair of electrons are also getting involved in forming a bond with the neighboring carbon atom hence the leaving yellow electron was replaced by the incoming green electron as you can see here okay and in totality nitrogen has donated two electrons one is one one is the currently donated green electron in py and pink one was the previously donated electron in pz right so in total nitrogen has donated two electrons to the carbon atom hence we are showing this sign arrow sign okay but you can also write it like et n plus and c minus with triple bonds okay both the ways you can write okay so let us let us discuss the last mechanism so we have here something like again a primary amine and we have chcl3 and koh again ccl2 or carbon formation would be there first a um, mole of oh minus would be consumed here in forming uh, the carbene and then ns2 the lone pair of nitrogen atom would be donated in, donated on to the ccl2 thereby forming this complex okay and then again the second mole of oh minus will be there in extracting again acidic hydrogen from the n plus okay so we'll get something like and i'll i'll just uh, cover the second step also after after this step after the step that oh minus gets its hydrogen atom so the second step would be the it would be neutralized and then the lone pair will again be converted into bond pair with c atom and cl minus would be removed so i have just clipped the two steps into one and the final step i am showing here with only one h remaining positive charge here double bond between n and c atom negative charge in the carbon atom and cl atom attached to the carbon atom next what will happen is oh minus oh minus will again attack on this acidic hydrogen and will be getting something like positive uh, neutrally neutral charged nitrogen atom with lone pairs on it double bonded with carbon atom and c minus and cl attached to the carbon atom not now what will happen is again the lone pair of nitrogen atom would be forming a bond with the carbon atom as a result cl minus would be getting removed okay minus cl minus okay as a result we'll be having three bonds or triple bond with the nitrogen between the nitrogen atom and the carbon atom you can show either plus sign on nitrogen atom or minus sign on carbon atom or you can say that two electrons were donated by the nitrogen atom to the carbon atom and you can just show via arrow okay so with this we come to the end of this lecture in the next lecture we'll be seeing some more mechanism and examples and we'll be starting off with a new reaction mechanisms okay so till then good luck and good bye